Around the time when Drupal 8 was released, I wrote a tutorial series on how to create a blog using Drupal 8. And in the series, I cover all sorts of stuff such as content types, fields, blocks, menus, comments, everything essential that a site builder should know. And if you want to go read the tutorial series, head over to the link below. But I thought it'll be good to do a video series based off these tutorials. So in this first video, I'm going to cover content types and fields. So enough of me talking, let's jump right in. So here is my brand new freshly installed Drupal 8 site. And in this video, we'll have to do two things. First, create a content type and attach fields to it and then create a taxonomy vocabulary. So first, let's create the content type. So to create a content type in Drupal 8, just go to structure, content types, and click on add content type. Let's call our content type uh, blog, let's be original, and give it a description of used for posting blogs. Then under the submission form settings, I often turn off the preview because it's useless. And I also uncheck promoted to front page. The display settings, yep, that's fine. We often want to display a, an uh, author and date information. And under menu settings, just uncheck this because this is only useful for the basic, I think the basic page. And then click on save and manage fields. Now on this content type, we're gonna have a few fields. We'll have a body field, image, tags, and category. Luckily for us, Drupal creates a body field whenever you create a content type. So, so we can reuse this one. And, and so we only have to add in three fields, image and tags and category. So click on add field. And because we are using the standard installation profile, Drupal already created an, an article content type and, and already created an image and tags field. So let's just reuse those fields. So under reuse an existing field, select image and then click on save and continue. Leave everything as is and then click on save settings. Again, click on add field. And then this time select the field underscore tags. And then down here, click on tags under available vocabularies and create referenced entities if, if they don't already exist. This, this is useful because just, just imagine yourself, you're creating a blog post and, and if you want to tag the blog using a term which you haven't created, you can simply enter it in from the blog content type without having to go into the taxonomy section to create that tag first. So click on save settings. Okay, now before we create the category field, let's first create the vocabulary. So go to structure, taxonomy term, and click on add vocabulary. We'll call this category, and then just click on save. And while we're, we are here, let's just quickly create two terms. Uh, Drupal and WordPress. Hmm. Okay. So now that the category has been created, let's create the actual field. So let's go back to structure, content types, and click on manage fields on the blog row and click on add field. And in the drop-down, select taxonomy term under reference. And call this category. And click on save and continue. Leave the allowed number of values to one because we only want to allow one category to be attached to the blog post. Click on save field settings. And make the field required. And then just select category from under available vocabularies. 
and click on save settings. Okay, now we have created the fields. Let's configure the widget. So under manage form display, now, now this is this is now this is new in Drupal 8. Previously in Drupal 7, you would manage the 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 widget from the form edit page, if I remember correctly. But right now in Drupal 8, you have this new manage form display. So just click on manage form display. And here you can reorder the fields and configure their widgets. So what we'll do is move image above body and move category above tags. And let's change the category widget to select list and tags to autocomplete tags style and click on save. Okay, now click on manage display and here you configure the field formatters. Let's just move a few things around. So let's move image above body and leave tags and category below the body. And let's just switch off the label for image and click on the cogwheel on the image formatter and let's add it, add an actual image style and then just click on save. Okay, so at this point we have created our content type, our vocabulary, and we and we have attached and we have attached fields to the content type. Now let's create an actual blog post and see what it looks like. So click on content, add content, and then blog. And then just enter in a title, so test article, upload an image, just add this one in, call this Drupal icon, enter in a bunch of body text. And then from the category dropdown, I can select a term, so a category, either Drupal or WordPress. And from tags, I can, uh, I can just add in random tags. So I'll add in development, and if I put in a comma, I can separate it out and I'll put in front end. Oh, let's just call this front end. And then click on save and publish. And now we can see our test article. We have the image there, we have the body field there, we have the tags, and we also have uh, our category down here.